Now we're going to define the curve and uh, we have two windows here. First, the lower window is our um, panoramic composite and the upper window is our axial view. You can see we have a red control point here. If I left click and drag this red control point, that moves the right extent of the panoramic curve. And you can see how that changes in real time with our panoramic uh, composite in the lower window. So I'm gonna put the uh, distal extent of our panoramic curve on the right here. And now I'm going to grab the green control knob and put that in the right, oh, I'm sorry, the left uh, extent. And I've got three purple dots. And you wanna make sure that the areas that are labeled vestibular and oral are in the oral cavity and the vestibule. Um, otherwise, you're gonna get the, the inverse uh, relationship. And I'm going to move these purple control points kind of where I think on the curve, okay? When I use my mouse wheel, I can move that line, the curve, uh, axially. So you see now it's at the bottom border of the mandible. Now it's kind of uh, at the occlusal plane and I'm scrolling up and now you see it's um, in the lower extent of the maxillary sinuses. So if this is an acceptable curve um, we can just uh, click next. If we would want to add more points to this curve uh, I simply click on the middle anywhere of the orange line to add a control point and move that curve around. I can hover over any of the existing purple points and move that curve however I need for an acceptable panoramic composite. So I can say the curve comes out here a little bit to go over the middle of the teeth. So I might say think that this is a much better curve for me and the uh, panoramic composite here. So that's how we define the panoramic curve. Uh, if you would like to view it uh, flipped where the anterior of the arch is um, toward the top of your screen, just click view flipped and it will put the it will put the slices uh, in that orientation if you are used to looking at the curve uh, the default view uh, you can just keep this view default there but that's what the view flipped button does okay you can change the x-ray noise threshold with using this uh, slider bar here. You can see it gets the panoramic composite lighter or darker. And if you use your right mouse button, you can scroll through the panorama or the panorex. Um, you can scroll through sagittally. So that finishes defining the panoramic curve.